Oh, your Facebook. You like wouldn't add me on Facebook? And I'm like, <laughs> what? It's Lexa. And I'm Ash. And today we're gonna cover our firsts. Yep. Not just our first time, you little you dirty minded. What is the what's the word? Pervert. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but not if you just are. Our, not just our first time, you little pervert. But if you are a little bit of a pervert, then uh, you should definitely check out our Patreon. Which we'll talk about throughout this clip. Let's start with our first. Our first FaceTime date. Because we were long distance. Mm -hmm. That's why we had to yes. do the FaceTime date. The first time, so we we connected on TikTok and then we were trying to do a FaceTime date for a I while. asked her out on a FaceTime date literally three days after texting and you were really shocked that I, I guess, asked for a FaceTime date. Huh, so shocked so soon. Okay, well you said it. I wanted to do a FaceTime date. I think the issue was that Halloween had just happened by the time you'd asked me on a date, or it was about to happen, and I had all these plans for- It was about to happen. Yeah, I had all these plans for, um, for Halloween weekend, so I wasn't available all that weekend. And you were moving. Oh, I was in the middle of moving. And then I got like really, really I got yeah. at a Halloween party. She kept being flaky. And I'm sure she has great reasons, which she did. Which was, it was very unlike me. I'm not one that usually parties much. So I was just like, I swear, I, I literally, I think we had it planned for like the day after this Halloween party, but I got so messed up that night and I was so hungover and I was like, I don't want to meet you for the first time like this. Yeah. But once we did, and I'll share my side of the story, I was very, very, I didn't feel nervous until an hour before I knew that I was going to hop on a FaceTime date with you. Yeah. And the reason why I felt nervous was because I really liked Ash by our text conversations and by what I've seen physically on TikTok, that I was scared that my expectations were, weren't gonna be met on this FaceTime call and I was just gonna be mis or disillusioned. And that's why I was really scared to actually see her on video. Mm -hmm. I just hope that I continue to like you more and more. And I knew that by being on a FaceTime video call, it could go either great or not great. Yeah, we've been like, we'd, we had been sending each other voice memos and such and having all these deep conversations. So yeah, there was a lot, we were actually starting I feel like, to get interested in each other and it's like, oh, what if this ruins the, like what if I'm all excited about this and then it's not good. So I didn't want to get my hopes up, but I really wanted to get my hopes up. <laughs> I know. But anyways, do you want to share your part before we get on to the date? Yeah, I feel the same way where I was like, I was excited for the date and I wasn't nervous until right before. And then I got nervous because all of a sudden I was like, oh my god, I like this is I wish we were just meeting in person because I feel really cute in person. I can get all cute and like you can see all my angles and good lighting, but I'm like, my lighting in this room is terrible. I didn't realize how awful the lighting in my room was until right now. And I was like, what the hell do I wear? And she's only seeing this much of me, and I'm like, ah, well, everything I tried on I felt like looked weird in the camera from here up, and I was like, oh my god. So I just was overanalyzing it. And I set up my ring light for a light. And then we turned on the camera and you also had turned your ring light on. Of course, we're I'm a content creator. and TikTokers, I, what we Yeah, said. I wanted to look good. And you definitely mentioned that, I think, during the, the date. I didn't know if I should dress super femme I or am. more like chopsticky, because I could go from both extremes. And my friend Gaia convinced me to be feminine, more feminine presenting. Yeah, I felt the same way now that you were mentioning that. That's why I ended up wearing the hoodie and I was like, I don't know, like she's pretty like femme, like I don't know if she, I can't even remember if we talked about. No, we didn't. No. So I, I think I went with a little bit more chapsticky mm -hmm. because I like wasn't sure because you were so femme and I'm like, femme's usually like more tomboyish. Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously the date went great. It was a very deep date, believe it or not. We got into very deep conversations regarding traumas and like the past and the future and I don't remember how long the FaceTime date was but it was pretty long. Yeah, I feel like it was two or three hours. I think on that first FaceTime date I told you that I, I liked you. All right, next question. Mm -hmm. So our first time meeting in person. The first time meeting in person was at Phoenix International Airport. It sure was. It was what, a month and a half after we started talking? Uh -huh. Ash was picking me up from the airport mm -hmm. and that's the first time I saw her and I was just sharing with her recently that the first time I saw her it was very it was so breathtaking because I was just so mesmerized by like her beauty you were be more beautiful than I thought you were yeah. and I thought that I could imagine so when I saw you in real life and it was way beyond my expectations I was just breathtaking by you and I know that because I remember exactly like picture 
pictured in my mind what you were wearing, uh, at least your pants and your hair and your smile and Aww, just your energy. That's cute. <laughs> I remember my very first impression of you was that you were smaller than I imagined. And you did say that. I did about. say that. Like you just, I feel like you seem so. It's not like you're. You're actually not short. Like you're not short. You come across very commanding and like. I don't know how to explain it, like, almost, like, you seem tall, you just seem bigger online, like, you're just a very little person in person. And I am 5'6". Five, you're 5'6", five, but you're just, I don't even know how to explain it, you just seem little. I don't know how to explain it, you just seem so little to me, I was like, oh my god, I expected you to be, like, almost like, 5'11 or something, and, like, thicker almost. Oh I just god. like, oh, I just wanna grab you. And so I was just like, oh my gosh, she's little. I, I like that. I yeah, think that she cute. likes it. So I was just like, ah. And Aww. then, and our, yeah, and I thought you looked really pretty, and you were very, my, you looked very like Sandra Bullock to me, like, like in the blind side. She was just very, like, sexy mom. Ah! Rich. Like, you looked rich. Milf. Yeah, you, she had some business meetings right after this that I brought her to, and you did. You looked like, um, rich Milf. It was just different, but I liked it. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. I was kind of intimidated by you at first. It's cute. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't feel that from you, but that's cute. Well, I was obviously, I wasn't trying to give off no, intimidated I, energy. That leads on to our first kiss. That same day, moment, when we met, the, obviously I mentioned, or I talked about how I have this picture perfect memory of literally the first time I actually like laid my eyes on you. Immediately after, like, I'm walking towards you, and the first thing I do is, kiss her and that was our first kiss so our first kiss was in phoenix international airport which is kind of funny because you're a pilot yeah so what happened was i was walking towards you and i think it just went like this and then we hugged you're we like hi like we're like hey and then just like, yeah. yes i think it yeah was, it, was it was so was definitely awkward. nervous awkward energy for sure yeah it was more of for me i just want to get that out of the way because it was just there, you know? Yeah. So next is obviously the first time that we had sex. Yeah, and first time hooking up. Yeah, first time hooking up, and we're gonna save that for Patreon. Yeah, so go check out our Patreon. It's only like six bucks a month, and you get the juicy stuff. Mm-hmm. All right, now our first time saying I love you. I was the one that said I love you first. Let me explain, because Ash can fairly say that she said it first, mm -hmm. but technically I said it first. We went to this bar called, it's called Quartz. Quartz. Quartz Bar, it was an amazing bar here in downtown Phoenix if you like crystals and birthstones. And we drank literally almost every item on the menu because it was part of our job, <laughs> basically. Yeah, we did this operation. Yeah, awesome. we were just trying every drink. Long story short, I obviously get drunk. And we Ash, both did. And we're having a great time, like there's nothing wrong. And Ash said something, cause she, you were getting emotional about things. I think you were already emotional that day. It was like a rough day. Oh, it was. You said something, I forgot what you said to be honest. And I said, it came out so smooth that I didn't even realize I told her that I loved her. Yeah, I think it was something about like me talking about flight school and like downing myself that I like wasn't as, I hadn't gone as far as fast as I like was planning on or like affording my life and paying for myself. And, like all these different things that were like stressful to me and I felt like I wasn't doing it good enough. And you I made some um, money. I said, I said, I, I love you just as you are. That's what I said. I said, whatever you said, I said, well, I, I love you just as you are, or I love you the way you are. And I just said that literally, like I didn't even think nothing. It just came out so naturally because it literally came from my heart. I didn't even almost realize what I was saying. And then you're like, you love me? <laughs> and I was like, fuck, I like really just said that right now. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I love you. And then we made out. And then what happened was we never talked about it again. Nope. <laughs> it never got brought up again. Cause we were pretty, pretty tipsy at yeah. this moment. I, I think I was waiting for you to bring it up because you were the one that said it. Uh -huh. And you never did. And maybe you were waiting for me to bring it up. Yeah, well for me it was, I knew I said it when I was very intoxicated and I almost didn't feel like you would have believed me. And I think I wanted you to say it again because I wanted to know that you actually felt that way, like uh -huh. sober. And I feel like you have a little bit of a harder time expressing your feelings. Yes. And so I was like, okay, like I want, I want to hear her say it to me, like actually bring it up or say something about it. But she did it. But I did it. And this goes on to the next time she's 
Well, the next time we expressed that we loved each other. I wanna, I wanna look at the dates. So that was like a month and a half into us officially dating. I mm -hmm. think you told me. Wow. You told me that you loved me. And then I told you, oh, it was like almost two weeks later. It did feel long. Yes. Okay. It was like this thing in, it must have been an elephant in the room. I felt it where I was just like, does she love me? Does she like actually, because I was almost like, did she mean that? Or did it just come out, you know? Like, I don't know. I know. Thinking it. I know. I know. And you have a hard time sometimes with like words of affirmation and like really expressing your feelings. Mm -hmm. So then I kind of was just like questioning, like, does, does she? Like, I don't know. Cute. Anyway, well, but, I did mean it, but I didn't clarify, and I should have. Uh -huh. But then it just started bothering me. My kids for like two weeks. <laughs> I keep on wanting to say like love you, but then I'm just like, oh really? Avoid it. Yeah. And I so, think me too. And so then um, we were at a different bar. This is what caused the build up. I had gone out of town for like five days, and I yes. I was stopping by literally for not even 24 hours, like six hours. And since I missed her, I wanted to take her out in those six hours and then hop back on an airplane and continue my business. You doing that was really cute and it uh -huh. was like a, a really cute gesture for me. So I felt very loved by you doing that uh -huh. and making time to do that. So with me is I'm really good at showing I, I love you. I'm not necessarily the best at saying it. Mm -hmm. Like with words. Like I'm an actions person. So mm -hmm. one thing that I, I, I need to work on, I guess, is expressing. Which I like the actions too, don't get it I think both are very important. Because mm -hmm. I think one doesn't work without the other. Mm -hmm. Like if you just talk, 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 but you don't take the actions. But I think it's important to hear it as well. And especially as you've been gone, I think I've been wanting to tell you, like, I love you, like, on the phone or whatever, but then it's just like, no, <laughs> never mind, nothing, bye. <laughs> like, bye. <laughs> like, good night, I guess, you know. Yeah. So, we were talking about some. It was something that bothered you about me. Oh, it's because I wouldn't show her my exes. I want to show you a picture of one of my exes that you really, or any of my exes that you really, really wanted to see one day. Like, it just bothered me that she like was so weird about it. I was like, why does yeah. it matter? You literally told me all these stories about her and I was chill with you guys talking. I just was curious. And it bothered you a lot to a, an extent that because I didn't know. it wasn't just that. There were other things like that where like you were just very private about yep. weird things. There was something else as well. Oh, your Facebook. You like wouldn't add me on Facebook. And I'm like, <laughs> what? You like wouldn't show me like pictures of you from... Like oh, certain ages. Yeah, I wouldn't show her my childhood. No, my teenage years pictures. She like refused. I showed you all my pictures from all my ages, all my ugly faces, and you're just like, no. It's I don't even know how to. You like did it in a way that like made me feel like you were like hiding something. I'm like, why are you not letting me like add you on Facebook or see your old pictures? Like that's weird. So that was brewing in you. Yeah. At the restaurant, I guess. And you were saying how it these things make you feel like I don't care about you. So it was like I didn't care about you, I didn't trust you. So you expressed all that and I ended up telling you like I had no idea it bothered you so much, like I'll show you. It's like she's not crazy. You're not crazy, baby. I showed you all my stuff and and then I asked you, I was like, I think it's very interesting that this bothers you so much. Like I wonder why. But five seconds later you were like, I know why. And then you said it's because I love you. Mm -hmm. And it makes you feel like you don't love me, basically. When you do those things. Uh -huh. I think you said that as well. Mm -hmm. And I affirmed that I loved you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that was that. Um, next is our first time at meeting each other's parents, which is going to be on our Patreon video. So go check that out if you're interested. Yeah, that's honestly a little too spicy to share here. And you have to find out why on Patreon. Yeah. Our next first is traveling together. It was to Costa Rica. And so I was hosting a queer trip to Costa Rica, which speaking of, once I'm done with flight school next year, me and Lex are wanting to host some of our own trips, queer trips, so look out for those. Yeah, so if you want to hang out with a bunch of lesbians, bisexual, anyone that's just queer, mm -hmm. you definitely want to join. Oh, and it got juicy on this trip. Like yeah. there's, it's fun. It's, it's good fun. if you're single, it's good if yeah. you're taken, it's just a fun time. So I had this queer trip planned and I purposefully, so I get a plus one or it gets taken out of my earnings, but basically I like, I, I chose to have a plus one um, and I didn't know who the plus one was going to be yet. And I was like, just in case I'm seeing someone, I want them to come with me. You're cute. And if not, I was then, like manifesting it. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> and if not, then I'll bring a photographer with me. So we were, we were official when I asked you to come with me, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we were dating officially, and I was like, okay, this feels like a safe time to invite you to come to Costa Rica with Actually, me in a couple I don't months. know if we were official. I think it was right before Vegas. Was it? Maybe. I don't know. I think we were official. Okay. 
So um, she said yes, and I sent her my flights, and then she booked what she thought were the same flights as me. That's a whole story. We can um, input that here or put yeah. in the description of our crazy flight story when yeah. I was unhinged. Yeah, that's a whole pivotal part of our yeah. first time traveling. It is. <laughs> it is. Our first time traveling, she gets escorted out of an airplane. Uh -huh. We have a whole story about it on yeah. our YouTube channel. And then so we finally made it to Costa Rica, and yeah, it was just... Overall, it was a, an amazing time, mm -hmm. and it was also where we had our first fight. <laughs> yes, leads us to our next. Yes, leads us to our next one, and Which we're gonna is, save that for Patreon. Yep, that's so a go juicy, off Patreon. juicy one. <laughs> and honestly, I want to say it's funny, but interesting. All right, so that was our first, and go check out Patreon if you want to see all those other questions and a bunch of other lesbian sex ed. But we appreciate you being here, and we'll see you next time. We will, and let us know below what videos you want to see from us next. Yeah. Okay. Ciao. Beauty. Beauty. <laughs>